modern and bankruptcy go hand in hand. Prices of modern decks did not used to be this high, but then the makers of Magic got high and printed modern prizes too. The budget decks that used to be viable and modern were typically these fast aggro decks that pumped out a lot of creatures quickly. But with modern prizes furry, why would you want to play fast little creatures? Furry can take out four creatures basically for free. And cheap tribal decks also didn't work because why make a big creature if there's unholy heat deal six damage? But at last there is hope because in this weekend's challenge tournament, the biggest weekly magic tournament was won by this absolute masterpiece by Hank the Obese. The all-star of the deck is Shining Soul. We can cast it for free by exiling a white card in hand, and then we redirect the next X damage, where X is the mana value of that spell. In other words, if we pitch Mary's Booty Call, we redirect 7 damage for free. I love this card so much that several years ago, Daddy main deck Soul at a Grand Prix modern main event, but years ago, Soul was just alright. Creatures used to be really small, and most of the time, Soul would redirect 2 or 3 damage, and just wasn't that exciting. But today, oh my gosh, things are so different. Big creatures everywhere, big damage everywhere. If we redirect in Holy Heat, we're saving our creature from 6 damage, and dealing 6 to our opponent's creature, or 6 damage directly to our opponent's life total. It's so good. Working especially well with Chancellor of the Annex. If she's in our opening hand, our opponent's first spell costs 1 extra, and because we have other taxes in our deck, paying 1 extra adds up, and because it's a human deck, it can deal a lot of damage really quickly. When we're not just hard to put counters on stuff, and tell his lieutenants, putting counters on all of our stuff, and with so many counters so quickly, there's hopeful in this shit, which is bigger run of attacks, and can destroy artifacts and enchantments. And there's Adeline, whose power is equal to number of creatures we have, and whenever we attack, we get a token that's attacking. But because cards sometimes get stuck in hand, we have Rapines of Armor to filter, and Soul Suits for more free spells. But it gets even better. The deck has some pricey cards, but the most expensive cards in the deck happen to be the least important. One third of the deck's price is spent on Cavern of Souls. It's a monocolor deck. It's totally fine to swap them for planes, and doing so would even help us in the Blood Moon matchup. Soul Suits, same thing. Not a human. It's mostly there for the five mana cost to pitch the soul. And by cutting the least important cards, the deck can be quite cheap. And as an added bonus, many of these humans be playing the standard Pioneer. And that's a lot of mileage for today's video. For the sake of historical accuracy, we will be piloting the exact same list as Big Boy Hank the Obese, now for Cyborg, Graveyard Hate, Graveyard Hate, Artifact Enchantment Hate, Free Stuff Hate, and Not Creature Hate, that is deck. It's almost time to see this masterpiece in action. But first, today's video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Have you ever looked at a wolf and looked at a fox and said, Golly, I wish they would make baby together? Then Bloodline is a perfect game for you. Wolves and foxes aren't the only species you can force to make baby together. There's also orcs, demons, and more. From the darkest depths of your fantasies, you can create over 800 new hybrids. But I hear you asking, how do you make baby? You make baby with your companion, whose gender you can change, so you can get pregnant from the front or the back. And raising a child in Bloodline is super exciting. Unlike in real life where you have to pay child support, in Bloodline, your child will inherit the traits and talents and appearances of the parents. So if the baby mama has the big boobers, you can expect your baby to have the big boobers. The strength of your baby depends on how intimate you are with your companion. And unlike in real life, your baby can grow up in mere seconds, ready to fight in battles for you and win. Speaking of battles, the battles are epic. Most mobile games make the mistake of putting too much on screen at once. We're talking Bukake everywhere. But in Bloodline, the characters fighting for you have supercharged moves, and when you use them, the game zooms in on the character so you can see the fine and beautiful details of the battle. There's new characters being released all the time. There's also Guild War battling and economy stuff. So download Bloodline for free on both Android and iOS. You can click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen, and you'll get a special starter pack worth $20, including one summoning crystal, 100,000 gold, and 100 diamonds. And now let's back to the video. Opening hand, a lot of lands. So mole. And yeah, that's pretty good. We'll keep. We'll start with this shit. Major all tenants. Play with tenants. Number two. Go back to your opponent. And a lot of opponent passes back. Very interesting. Play out of line. It's back for six. A lot of opponent passes. They just throw their own land to ramp. For them passes. Thalia perfect. Play with Thalia. Can't make me to vault. Oh, the solitude. They take her out of line. Oh, goes to two. Oh, I'm not gonna see it. Okay. So game two it is. Look what we're gonna see. We're first. I have two. Opening hand, we have Chancellor. So we'll keep. And our opponent gives up the portable hole. Mama's old stripper name. And champion, that's good. Play champion pass. Opponent ramps. Take a fire frost. So we use some lands. Play with tenants. Thing for three. And then we'll pass. A lot of opponent plays wall. And Thalia for us. We'll play Thalia. Oh, the solitude. Do they have a femorate this time? They do. Let's try to play for opponents. We have solitude. Solitude their solitude. And then we'll pass. Opponent takes out a land. So now we have double white. Full for us. So we take fire. We have swing. Opponent still 16. Oh, and furry. And most tragically, because of Thalia, we can't use our soul. One card in hand for opponent now. In a land, fabulous. And a line. Flank. And we'll pass. And a lot Lotus Field. Oh, so our deck that's off TTBs. Hoping to ramp quickly. We draw Mary's Booty Call. Perfect with soul. Play in a shit. Flank. Oh, it's on an eight. Mana number five. And oh, Solitude. Taking out Adeline. If only it had been furry and sad. Oh, and a Solitude of our own. I think soul's better here. Oh, for Flank. Oh, it blocks. But tragically for opponent. Soul. Preventing Solitude's damage. So Solitude goes to Jesus. Which how prone to now? Ooh, they play a land. And we've been it for us. Buffing our board. And there's a concede. What an absolute salad tossing to start things off. 
off. And now it's on the next match. Opening hands, we fall. Let's try it. Oh, and this might be domain. Land cross. We'll play Sentinel and pass. Nakado's a 3-3. Three, three. And then Nakado's a 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. That's pretty good. But we want someone with a high mana value. So we can use soul. For now, play a Sirent. Buffing Sentinel and pass. Opponent needs to butt for 8. They might have counter. So we'll say no soul. And another Kabu. Oh my. Yikes. Another land for us. We'll play out of line. I want to be a 4-5 now. Oh, land number 4. They tribal flames us. And again. That means we have to use soul. Sending two back at them. We survive at 1. And then come in for 10. We're forced to jump. And aspirant for us. We'll force opponent to jump. Sentinel. Initiate. Mute of alt. We have to block out of line. Opponent with a 3. So there's two cards in hand. Pretty much anything we'll do here. Ravioli. And Leyland binding. Ouch. So it was out of line. And our opponent has lethal. So close. I'm going to run the first lesson too. Oh, ho, ho. Cancel and soul. We'll keep. We'll solve our champion and pass. Tavern for us. And should we go informant? Or catheter commando? Informant's probably better. Finding a champion. We'll pitch it. Number 2. Pass opponent. Opponent shocks. I go for bolt. Do we redirect? Probably not. Land do. We'll hold catheter. Flank for 3. We will pass. On the coddle. And the scion. Oh my. A 4-4 four, four flyer. Oh wait. Catheter. We'll take out scion. And another catheter. We'll flank for 3. Opponent trades. Interesting. And we'll pass. Oh, let's brawler. And Ravio Lee. Flashing commando. Forest tender. Interesting. We'll play the forest tender. Animate Mute Vault. But perhaps we shouldn't attack a Mute Vault. Instead, we'll just go commando. Opponent blocks there. We'll save our commando. We pass back. Opponent has a new card. Mug Muglaws. They could make it a 6-6. Six, six, or even an 8-8. Eight, eight. That would be pretty schmexy. Champion for us. We'll play it and pass. It is a gooser. Take down a champion. And opponent passes. Another soul. Now it's another chancellor. We'll pass. Oh, opponent swings. Perhaps have counter. We have to go for it. We'll say big cocks will blocks and try and get them to pump. Opponent pumps. Now they have a 6-6. Six, six. Try for soul. Soul works. Opponent has a 4. Oh, and two more creatures though. Another soul. Darn. Super duper close. Lots of pass. Opponent goes for it. Oh, our opponent have bolt? That's a tough one. Lots of try and protect our life total. But here's daddy's plan. Redirect 2 damage back at our opponent. Paying 4 mana. But if we redirect Ravioli, they should still get the trigger. Even if they're dealing damage to themselves. I don't think we have much choice. Jump there. Soul for 2. Redirect Ravioli. And darn, they still get the trigger. I've never seen Ravioli deal damage to this controller. They find the wrong Kavu. Second Kavu. And now I just need not a land. That works. And it evolved. Swing. And now Soul. Redirect back at them. And victory is ours. Well, settle things in game 3. Oh, I think that's pretty good. We're gonna keep. We must move quickly. Since I won't pass. Oh, so I know what they forgot. They forgot about Chancellor. <laughs> Another thing fire. Play it. So for one pass. Opponent plays Chain to the Cox. Taking out our thing to fire. And they have Bolt. Let's try to give our opponent. Since no. Thing to fire. His back opponent. No. Why am I binding? That's pretty racist. And a Kavu. Informant. The commando seems better. Full pass for now. The opponent swings. Play path at our commando. Block. And it's actually back our thing to fire. Opponent base 12. They will use Jane hand and pass. Tower number 2. First one informant. Land. We'll pitch 1. Then lose Hemant. Thing for 5 and pass. Our opponent might be in a stinky dinky situation. If they play CCJ, we can attack our thing to Fire, and they can't block it. Oh, tribal flames. Sure. The phone passes. Land do. Alright, we'll swing. Need a vault. Swing out. On a box. Goes to one. Can they deal 17 here? Oh, the fairy. Bouncing sanctifier. And playing sign. That's pretty good. Oh, we had a line. Play it. Need a vault. Swing an opponent. Make a token. Oh, on a box, but we have lethal. That was intense. And domain's probably one of our worst matchups because their creatures are just as thick as ours. But if I will smash number two, now it's on the next one. Opening hand, we have a soul. And Mary's booty call. We'll keep. Oh, and have really. Is that worth a salt? Food. I suppose. No really for them. Player land and pass. Oh, opponent passes. Another land. Try for Thalia. Thalia hits. And holy heat for two damage. We can't play solo Thalia out. We'll have to pass. Chance for us. We had a line. And uh, counter spell. And opponent digs. A holy channeler. And Murktide. Good for them. The opponent passes. Creature for us. We'll take it. We'll play around spell pierce. And pass back. On holy heat. It was a sirent. Oh, and opponent's afraid to attack. Play soul. Does our opponent have counter? Yeah, darn. Oh, the solitude. We just have one more land. But unfortunately, we will probably deal 10 on their turn. Consider. And yep, there's a Lyrium. So game 2 it is. We're going in. So we're running this first S1-2. Open hand, one land. Got a pretty good one land hand. So we'll keep. Play Sentinel and pass. Oh, and holy heat. And the land, nice. We'll save Sentinel with Soul. Oh, perfect. Champion number 1. Champion number 2. Slip for 1. And pass opponent. Oh, my Shredder. And Bobble. Giving us a card draw. How generous. Another land. And now Scrotum pretty late. Now it's Falls like Hoss 1. Then we'll pass. Uh oh, Dress Down. Oh, but Shining Soul. They're probably trying to bolt Scrotum. Indeed. Let's try to keep our opponent. 
opponent. Joel. For checking our scrotum. Our opponent must be devastated. Oh, well, black class. Oh my gosh, Adeline. Oh, for draw. Some of the champions. The Hulk and Buffalo champions. And there's gonna seed. So we'll have to settle things in game three. Opening hand's pretty strong. We'll keep. Oh, the Chandler. Oh, we have Chancellor. And they could have just played Bobble. Adeline, sure. We'll play champion pass. But what we really need here is the planes. Because everything in hand's double white. Not really. Joel, okay. Not the land we needed. So we'll just play me to Walton pass. And what? On the swings. We'll take that trade. And home passes. Oh, praise the magic gods. Pretty late. On one. Oh, home passes. What a loser. And the Mary's booty call. Along us to Joel for seven. Or perhaps we should play it. Because right now the only threat is Murktide. And we need the graveyard. So we'll play booty call. Sling of fire. And I make me to vault. Fist for four. Uh oh, bouncing our scrotum. That's unfortunate. Lots of pass. And what? Home passes. After all that. All right, replay scrotum. On one again. Tickle for two. Sentinel is tempting here. Even though they probably have counter. Let's try for it. Oh, that worked. Okay. Oh, and digs. Along us to draw. How generous. And there's Murktide, but only on four. But with only one land open, our opponent can't use counter spell. And let's throw them out. No spell here. So our opponent might be clapped. So that's hole number two. And a line. So suspiciously swing out. And darn, our opponent blocks. Oh, wait. So for three. Sending three back at Murktide. And protecting our scrotum. Oh, oh and fabuloso. And now it's on to the next match. So in the next match, tragedy struck. We played against Mill. And our opponent popped off. Which is super unlucky. Because in two other practice matches, the deck easily beat Mill. But not this time. And now it's on to the final match. Opening hand, no lands for the Mole. And this is a close one. We'll try it. My sense won't pass. Oh, opponent shocks. That's not a land. So for one, play an issue it. Oh, there's unholy heat. But tragically for opponents. Joel. And since almost arrives. And Grixis. This might be Death Shadow. Oh, I thought she's taking our lieutenant. No, not a land. We'll swing for two. And pass. No, not a thought she's. Our rubs are solitude. And Death Shadow it is. Oh my gosh. We'll pass. We take seven. It puts UCJ in hand. Oh, what a land. So now we can do this. The Firent. Well, Sentinel. And when we attack, hopefully the machine gets buffed. So now I'll pump you to <laughs> There's a concede. That took a miracle. Oh, wait, I'm still bringing this for assessment too. Open hand, two shoals. No seven drops. Our opponent probably has this card anyway, so we'll keep. Oh, we'll no discard Chandler and Bobble. Throw him pretty late for us. For now, play Sentinel and pass. Oh, no swings. Sure. And they shock. And play takes UT with protection from white. Land. So, like, Thalia and pass. And opponent passes out of crippling fear. The Firent. And this is a little risky. Play scored him on one. That worked. Oh, we'll terminate. And Lieutenant for us. Sure. The opponent passes. Champion for us. We'll first play as Firent. Lieutenant. Lieutenant hits. Well, Sentinel even more. Oh no, I'm drowning the cock. We draw. And the opponent swings. What? They probably want us to swing back. Oh, an explosives. I can wipe a board. Chancellor, okay. First goes champion. And champion. But there goes explosives. And they lose ACT. Our opponent must swing. We'll save the soul. And the passes. And line perfect. Play it. Oh, the dress down. That's not very nice. We'll swing. And the pass. Oh, we see shadow. We first take three. They put UCJ in hand. And the pass, really? Sentinel. Play it. And another dress down. Oh my gosh. Now Adeline's power is zero. Swing for 30. They'll pass. Our opponent's forced to swing again. And what? They fetch again. Playing explosives on one. But also hits the Chandler. Oh boy, and tasty tea. Alright, ding dong's crossed. Okay, not bad. We do lose Chancellor. But we still have Shoal. Need to watch her. And here's where things get a little bit tricky. We have a Ganjo. Or Tech Adeline. But then we can't shoal for lethal. So is the attack worth it here? Actually, I think so. We'll swing out. Our opponent, we force to crack explosives. And prepare to witness beauty. Come on, crack it. The time has come. There goes explosives. But charge of opponent. Protection from white. Means her can't be targeted. But Soul says source, which isn't targeting. Three damage back at them. Choosing Turek. What an epic finish. Oh my gosh. You know what that means. 4-1 overall. So there we have it. Daddy loves this deck so much. I play two more leagues with it. 1-3-2 and another 4-1. Bringing our win rate to a whopping 73.3%. Oh, and as I'm saying this, I just realized that our sideboard has only 14 cards in it. Oops and poopsies. But hey, a 73.3% win rate with only 14 cards in the sideboard. Thanks again to Hank the Obese for coming up with the deck. And until next time, stay down with Thick.